Hi there. Welcome to this special edition of Beyond Limit Broadcast. We continue in our series, Touched by His Mercy. And we have a reading from Matthew 20. Verse 30, the Bible said, Behold, the blind man sitting by the roadside. When they heard that Jesus was passing by, cried out. They were sitting by the roadside. They were sitting. People were walking past them, but they were sitting. I pray for you today. Listen to me. Many people are sitting thinking that it's a lockdown zone. But while they were sitting, many people are becoming millionaires around them. Many people are making money around them. Many people are progressing in their relationship around them. Many people are writing theses. They are writing books. While they were sitting, I pray for you today. In the name of Jesus, as the word of God is coming to you, may you receive grace to engage with the movement of God. May you receive grace to walk in the Kairos moment. Because they were sitting. They had excuses. But Christ was walking by. Thank God they didn't allow the moment to go wasted. Listen, God's word is coming to you. It will not go wasted. In Jesus' name. How? They cried out, have mercy on us. O Lord, Son of David. I pray for us as a nation that God will have mercy on us. He will have mercy upon our land. Have mercy upon our leaders. Have mercy upon everyone that is in a position of authority. Upon the homes, the fathers at home, the mothers at home. May God have mercy on us. Sometimes we think because we are leaders, we know what we are doing, but we don't. We are dealing with issues sometimes that is far beyond us. May God have mercy on all of us, all of us in Jesus' name. The multitude... That's where the problem goes on. The multitude warned them that they should be quiet. Now you will think the multitude knows better than Jesus. They warned them they should be quiet. Then they cried out the more. You must know that what you need from God has to be by a personal decision. The multitude may have an opinion, but you must make up your mind what's your own decision. The Bible said, they said, have mercy on us, O son of David. Something you see about this man, these two men, is they didn't come with an entitlement mentality. They didn't feel, oh, you can see we are blind, you can see we don't have any help, you can see. But they say, have mercy on us. May you come to God today with a humble heart, heart that is humble and obedient unto him, looking unto him. They said, have mercy. So Jesus stood still. We told ourselves in the last episode that he heard them and he stopped. Today we want to proceed. Because when he stopped, he called them and said, what do you want me to do for you? My second point today is he listened. He listened to them. He listened to them. But why is it so important? A number of things. Number one, you will assume that Jesus Christ, because he can see that they are blind, he didn't need to ask them what he wanted, what he wanted them to do. He shouldn't have asked them, you will imagine, that he shouldn't have asked them what did they want of him. Of course they want their eyes to be healed. No. When you come to Jesus, you must believe he is. And you must know why you have come to him. So he listened to them. If there is anything that we need in this time and season as church, as believers, it's for us to have the grace and the capacity to listen. The grace and the capacity to listen. One of the things I have been considering so much and meditating upon is the post-COVID church. Post-COVID church must be a church that listens. Because many people will come with issues that are not so obvious. You might think this is their issue, but that's not their issue. My people might be dressed up with suits around you, but their problem is deep on the inside. Many people might seem to be standing together, but during the post-COVID situation, they have done things, said things together to each other that they have departed even though they are standing together. Listen to me. The grace and the capacity to listen, may God give it to us. In developing our business strategies, it's about listening to the city. It's about listening to the marketplace. It's about listening to our customers. We cannot continue like before. We cannot assume that we knew what it was a few months ago. We can't assume that we know what to do because where we are going to, we have not been through this road before. And Christ demonstrated that people might come to us blind. We need to receive the capacity to listen. Now, what are we listening to? Two things. We are listening to them, but above all, we are listening to the vibrations of heaven. We are listening to God, what would you have me do concerning what they are saying to me? He, he listened to them because he was the priest that was touched by their infirmities. The Bible tells us in, in Hebrews chapter 4 verse 15, it said, we do not have a high priest who cannot sympathize with our weaknesses. He was in all points tempted as we are, yet without sin. Let's therefore come boldly 
I pray today in the name of Jesus, as we come before him, may we come boldly because he will listen. He said that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in the time of need. These blind men, they were marginalized. They were marginalized. They were people on the side of the road. Nobody was going to listen to them. You see, there is a saying where I grew up, and they say that everybody is talking, you two, you are talking. It's almost like because you don't, you're not considered to have an opinion. You are somebody that you're not rich enough, you're not popular, you, are, you don't have a say in this matter. But when you come to God, you do have a say. You can stand boldly before the King of Kings, hallelujah, before the throne of grace and find help and have a voice. And so though they were marginalized, the government may not have heard them. Their family members may not have heard them. They've been put on the side of the road. But my dear friend, today, I want you to know that your voice is heard in the heavenly places. Amen. They started the journey by the side of the road. They were marginalized, but when the day was over, they were the center of the story. I pray for you. You may have started this season of COVID-19 on the side of the road. Maybe you are not that important. Maybe nobody cared about you. But when this is over, you will be standing in the center of the testimony. In Jesus' name, my dear friend, you are not going to be relegated anymore. You are not going to be pushed onto one side. The Bible says in Psalm 18 verse 6, it says, In my distress, I called upon the Lord. He heard. I called upon the Lord and cried out to my God. He heard my voice from his temple. And my cry came before him, even to his ear. I pray for you today in the name of Jesus that as you call upon God, may he hear you. May he, may he send help to you from his holy place. May God show you his salvation. May he show you his strength. He is a God that listens to our cries. He listens to our weaknesses. He listens to our situation. He knows what we are frail. Listen to me. When you call upon him today, know this for sure, that men may not have listened to you in the past. The government may not have listened to you. Your banker may not have listened to you. But there is a God who cares, who loves, and who is able, not too busy, not to listen to you. Sometimes my children come to me and I'm too tired. And they are talking and I'm not even here. They say, Dad, you're not listening. But we have a father who is never too tired to listen. Listen to me. As you are hearing this word, come to him with all your heart. Open up to him. And when people come to us, may we have the grace and the capacity to actually listen to heaven as we listen to them. Amen. Listen to me. When this is all over, you will be standing and you'll be testifying in the center of the story. For it's been me. Wally Lula saying to you, you can rise beyond the <laughs>